Hello, dear friends. You have received the power of the seed pack, and now it's time to find out what is inside. In this pack, there is a variety of healing greens, nourishing veggies, and tasty herbs, plus a mix of beautiful and fragrant flowers for our bee and butterfly friends. Before I show you exactly what's in the pack, I want to share that although these seeds may be tiny, they are not to be underestimated. To buy each of these open pollinated, non-GMO seed varieties at the store would cost about $80 or more. And used mindfully, just the seeds in this envelope can grow over $400 worth of food. There are enough seeds in this pack to abundantly fill two four foot by eight foot raised beds or 50 row feet with food and medicine. If you don't know the value of the seeds, it's easy to just scatter them out without much care. But now that you know the value of the seeds, I hope you will cherish them because seeds are life. So the first thing that you'll see is the flyer. And this pack includes 12 bags of seeds, each one a different color for easy identification. The chart on this flyer shows the color of the bag and the approximate number of seeds. So how the chart works is real simple. Carrot is in the orange bag, radish is black, turnip is purple, bunching onion is green. Now in the next row you'll see that there's two bags of each of the same color. And then on the bottom of the chart there's a defining characteristic to differentiate the two. So, Basil and kale are both red, but kale is round seeds. Chive and arugula are both blue, and arugula is round seeds. Dill and mustard are both yellow, and mustard is the round seeds. And lastly, herb and flower are both clear, and flower is the larger seeds. I'd also like to show you exactly how to open these tiny little bags. What I do is I just put it between my pointer finger and my thumb, and then I simply squeeze, slide it open. And to get the seeds out, you can easily pour some seeds out just the amount you want. And if you get too much seeds, you can actually put them back in. And this bag is reusable, so you can use these throughout the season. I just pinch it to close it as well. And just a note that trying to open these with two fingers is a lot harder than this simple method. Our website has a picture key to identify the seeds as well, as well as a detailed growing guide and printable PDF. Now you might not use your seeds right away or you might have more that you can use later and you'll wanna know how to store these seeds. I mean, in this one baggie, there's over 200 basil seeds. That's enough to grow some, to grow some later and to share with others. So to store these seeds, you want to put them in a cool, dark, dry place, which can be as simple as your pantry, it can be a drawer in your desk, nothing fancy, just one of the cooler, darker, drier places in your house. If you want to store them even longer term, you can put them in your refrigerator, but they'll store for over a year just in your home and they'll store for multiple years in your home or in the fridge. So what else is on the flyer? I want to share that in order to save money and resources, we put most of our information online on the website. This is just the paper that will get you started. You can check out our beginner's gardening guide, made especially for beginners on their journey of growing food. It includes our seed saving guide to help you grow your abundance. This can be found at robingreenfield.org guide and join the community group on Facebook. You can ask questions from experienced gardeners, learn what is working best for others, motivate each other with photos from your gardens, exchange seeds, and much more. Let your garden serve as a celebration of life and an oasis to practice presence and gratitude while taking power back from the global industrial food system and putting that power back into your own hands and into the hands of your community. 
Let your garden serve as a celebration of life and an oasis to practice presence and gratitude while taking power back from the global industrial food system and putting that power back into your own hands and the hands of your community. Now that is food sovereignty. That is food freedom.